we didn't want to go that route. So they said, we have to stay till the, not even the following day. There was no flight the following day. They said the third day. So we stayed till the third day. As my husband said, they gave us hotel to stay. We stayed there for two days. So, and the third day we left. <coughs> so the, the journey was smooth from there. There was no problem. We got home safely. So I just want to thank God. I don't know how to say it. My heart is full of joy because this God proved to us that he is God. I just thank him for everything. So all the prayers of the saints, I felt it in my body because he worked for us. Now, when we got home now, they said um, about this 12th June something, 12th June, about your last day. <laughs> so, uh, but one thing is that the God, God just strengthened us. We, did, we, we were not moved at all. All our minds were, were just to get ready for the wedding, the, the day we fixed it for. So, a lot of people were saying they will not come, they will not move, there won't be any movement. But the Lord made a way. There was movement. We went, you know. The, I mean, a lot of prayers all over the place. Here in Phoenix, in Nigeria, everywhere, the brethren were praying for us. Everybody was just praying for that day. And the Lord honored that prayer. You know, it worked for us. So we went, the marriage took place. So when we got there now, um, my son's, um, our wife's uh, family, the time we planned to meet, you know, for something before the real marriage, we waited, we didn't see them. We were worried what was going on. We waited, we waited for a long time. But they didn't come. So we were like to be angry. We said, what is God? <laughs> but at the end of the day, we remember the prophecy that said, whatever that happens, don't just win it, just thank God. So we, may, we remember that. So at the end of the day, they came. The marriage took place. Everything was successful. So, but the... After now, they came and told us that the reason why they came late was that <clears throat> the old bad person that wanted to take them, the wife of that driver, held the man, said he wouldn't move to anywhere that day, that he wasn't going to move because of the problem. So <laughs> because of that, they were stranded. They didn't see any vehicle to bring them. So the man had to look for somebody else to, to bring these people down there. And they got there safely. So... I just want to thank God. During our stay there, the Lord was with us. We have had a lot of news, how things happen to people when they travel there, even the people that are there, all negative things that happen. But the Lord protected us. We were there. There was no problem at all. Nothing was ever, you know. We stayed there, and we came back safely. And we met everybody in good condition here. We give God all the glory. And I want to seize this opportunity to thank the brethren, the church, our church and all the wish wishers that prayed for us. Because if not for that prayer, you know, the Lord answered them. I don't know what would have happened. Because Satan fought in so many ways. But anywhere he came, he didn't succeed. God always conquered him for us. So for this and so many things, I don't know how to express my gratitude to God. But I say thank you, Jesus. Because he's a mighty God. He's God and he answers prayers. So I give him all the glory. I give him all the honor all the majesty, all the dominion, salvation, and strength be his alone in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, everybody. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I forgot to say that I have a song. That song was burning in my heart, and I will, I will, I will sing it here. Those people that can understand my language, they will, uh, they will enjoy it. Um, I will interpret the song for you. Uh, it says, what I'm, I'm doing for God, there is a reason for it. This uh, uh, Thanksgiving and all this testimony, there is reason for it. So we give all glory to God. The song goes like this. Say nam de no abang me. Say nam de no abang me. En yene ntak. We sing it like this. Senam de no bon mio, Alleluia, Senam de no bon mio, en yen enta, Senam de no bon mio, Senam de no bon mio, en yen, I conquer de no bon mio, Alleluia, Senam de no bon mio, en yen enta, 
You said you are going to interpret it. Did you interpret it? Yes, I did. What was it? I said, you see, the testimony that I've given to my God, the reason why is because he saved me. Oh, that's the, that's the interpretation? I thought he was just talking. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That song is sweet, oh. That song is sweet, where, where? Sing it again, sing it again. That song is sweet, where, where? Hallelujah. No, I didn't forget that part at all. I just want to say a little something before we bring up uh, Paul and Victoria to share their own part of it. But I want to tell you something too. Don't go away because there's something special we're going to do for them before we do the, um, the ceremony in the, uh, I mean the celebration in the hall. So, I want to say that, look, you know, God knows what he's doing. Amen. Amen. So all those delays that happened, because Sir Alice called me when they were delayed in, was it Denver or someplace? Or Arizona or somewhere? Yeah. And I said, look. <laughs> and then when I heard about the engine trouble and all of that, you know, and so on, you know, and I said, the Lord is good. Amen. Amen. Because it is better that they were delayed and they figured out about the engine trouble when they were on the ground. Amen. Than for them to have gotten in the air and then they say there's engine trouble. Then what are you going to do with that? So let's put our hands together for the Lord for that. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to bring that part out so that we continue to give the praise to God for how he did it. And he kept them, he blessed them, and he brought them back. And they are here, you know, to testify and so on and so forth. So I want you to put your hands together, you know, for... Paul and his wife, Victoria. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. And welcome them to the house. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You can both stay here and you can both give your testimonies. Stand side by side and do it. And then after that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy to be in the midst of everyone here. And um, I'm seeing everybody's face is glowing, is shining. And um, I'm so happy. I want to say, may God Almighty make you to continue this smile in Jesus' name. I just want to give a brief testimony because... Um, it's like when God does something for you and you don't say it out. It's like you're not appreciative of what God done for you. You keep piling up the testimonies like, I'm shy. I'm not a shy person. I'm supposed to be covering my face. <laughs> so, um, at first I want to give this little song. Because um, for all that God has done for me, for these lovely families, I can't say it all. So I just want to use song to summarize everything. In different ways, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too good. You are a great God. 
In different ways I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too good. You are a great God. Praise the Lord. I guess my testimony is going to be so shocking to everybody, but at the end of it all, I'm standing, I'm grateful, and I'm happy to be with him. We've been talking for like since 2018, and um, in every lady's dream is that once you've gotten a partner, sharp, sharp, the marriage should just happen. <laughs> you don't want it to stay long. 2018, 2019, I was like, <laughs> My pressure was like, come, can I wait? Because I was getting so many suitors. And I was bold enough to tell them that, no, I have somebody. And I love him. <laughs> and they were like, forget that thing. Ingo, don't get a woman from one side. I was like, I don't care. God has already given me who I want. So I don't need to doubt if he's having any side chicks or not. As far as he's not having that type of doubt, because that is what kills relationship. When you start having doubt, disbelief, just like what our pastor said now, everything crumbles because there's no trust. So I have to like delete that toy. It's never in my mind for a second. And that is what has been keeping us till now. So, um... The main testimony was that when my mother-in-law, they all came, I was so excited that they came at last. We all had to go and buy one full bottle of water and relax our nerves like they're here now. Because I've been receiving calls. Victoria, what is happening now? Where your girl? Ah. My uncles were like, see, you don't need to waste time more. Maybe he has gotten somebody else. <laughs> I was like, he's coming, he's on his way. So when they came, that, uh, they came like on a Thursday or Friday. At least that day was when the enemy tried to show his own skills. But, you know, as child of God, now we always prevail. When they came that same day, the enemy struck themselves with stroke. All my body was paralyzed. You know, when they came, I was in that mist. My parents were like, what are you doing now? Come and stay with them. I couldn't say, I didn't, I couldn't say anything. My body was in great shock. Everywhere collapsed. But I was seated there, but they didn't know what was happening. Even my parents, it was only my siblings that know what was going on with me. And they were like, ah, Auntie Vicky, can you go out? Because everybody was busy going up and down, doing this and that. No one could tell my mom that, ah, mom, this is what is wrong with Auntie Victoria. I was, I was scared. I was crying. I was like, ah, hey. Is this when God wants to now bless me that something like this will not happen? So many thoughts was coming in my mind. What if it happened? Hey, this is a disgrace to my parents, to me. Ah, that means, ah, he's going to go after waiting years for him. No, I was like talking to myself. I was doing some rehearsals. <laughs> even while I was, even my mother-in-law was like washing me, but I was just holding myself. The moment they left, everything ceased. As I stood up, I fell down. My parents had to carry me because everywhere has ceased, has locked up. They had to take me to a nearby hospital. They did all the tests, everything. And the doctor was like, ah. I think in my mind, the doctor would not want to fall his hand like he doesn't know what he's doing. He was like, I think he's um, high pressure. In me, I know there's nothing wrong with me because that day I was very, very okay. So um, they called our pastor and prayers here and there. And luckily, the next day was Sunday. I was surprised that I could stand on my feet. Even our pastor was surprised. I was like, ah, are you here? Because I, I, I couldn't believe my eyes that I could stand on my feet again. I was, because it was a week to the wedding and this thing happened. I was scared like, what if this thing continues to that day? 
and I've not done some things. So many disappointments. My wedding gown that I was supposed to get on um, Thursday, on th Friday night, the woman told me that, ah, it's so real. The wedding gown, they've not washed it. It's inside the water. I was like, ah, hey. So that means I'll have to go and so white and white and cara. Was, <laughs> my head was swollen. And that day was June 12th. There was a message passed that, ah, nobody should go out to. I know Nigeria, we don't, we, li we don't like doing things in a peaceful way. We like gra gra. It's very, it was very hot. My friends were telling me, ah, babe, I can't do this again. No. The clothes that I bought for my girls, some of them say, ah, they don't have money. That minute, I was like, ah, who is going to sew all these clothes? So I will not talk to somebody that will be selling fabrics. Who will buy this clothes? I was very worried. I was not myself. Even that Saturday, I saw people outside. I was like, what's going on? So many things were in my head. If you open my head, it's like, it's a dictionary that you can't even define what it is. I was not happy, but my girls were just giving me the vibe, making me happy, laugh. All of a sudden, I saw people coming out, just like what daddy said. Ah, ah. <laughs> Who opened the gate for these people? So that's if they locked the gate for people to come in. All of a sudden, people started coming. Everything started going in place. And we just thank God for everything. There was no phone stolen. Nobody, nobody was um, making noise like, ah. Because party, if you go to party in Nigeria, if you don't carry, if you don't hold your phone very well, you just have to mm, and go home and start crying. Because nobody will ask you, sister, yeah, so you don't expect some, me to come and count my money and say, go and buy your phone. No. So I was so happy that um, that Saturday, everything was smooth. Even if there was a um, kind of disappointment, we thank God everything was uh, successful. And I'm happy to be here. <laughs> So I want to give God all the glory for all the marvelous things he has done, even being so kind to my, my mother-in-law, my sisters-in-law. I've never, you know, when I left, the, the day we were about to leave, my mom was like, you will not cry. <laughs> Inside me, I was crying bitterly because if I cry, if I start my own cry here, yeah, hey, it's as if rain wants to fall. <laughs> I'm very, very emotional, so I had to like, ah, cry care. So my, mom, my eyes was very red. It was in the airport, I started feeling them, but my auntie, Auntie Christiana, Auntie Nima, they all like, come on. So they held me, and I didn't feel it. Even if I still miss them, I'm happy to be here. They've never left my side. They've never made me lonely. Sometimes I feel their presence. But before I knew it, I see my Auntie Christiana is always monitoring me. She would just call me. I do it. Even mommy, daddy, my husband, everybody, bro, Victor, grandma, everybody has been there for me and I'm happy to be um, in the midst of GMI. So, <laughs> so, I'm so happy. I say, may God Almighty bless each and every one of us and grant our request in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I don't know where to start from, but let me just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, at first, when I got to know, when I knew Victoria, um, before I knew her, when my cousin told me about asked me about um, marriage or my mom or something. Um, I was a little confused because I don't talk much. I'm a person that doesn't talk much. So, <laughs> so well, I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get married. I'm prepared. I'm, I've been thinking about it. So, they find, we finally got connected and we started talking and talking. The more I would, we spoke on the phone, the more happier I got. I, I'd be more ready. I was getting to get married, you know. So I just want to thank God that everything went smoothly. We, we all went to Nigeria. The first time me and my mom went to Nigeria for the knocking of the door, 
that went smoothly. And the second time, we all went as a family. I want to thank God for safe journey to Nigeria, there, back and forth. And I want to thank the brethren for supporting us because I, I don't know. It was so, it was going to, it was a very tough thing for me to do, you know. But I thank God that everybody prayed for me. Pastor prayed, uh, everybody prayed, and the prayer went well. And all, every, I want to thank God for all the gifts that were given to, for the wedding from the church individually and everybody. And thank you, everybody, for, for your support. God bless you, and God will um, repay you um, smoothly, um, you know, how God does his things. Well, here I am. I'm married. I'm everything is ready, and I thank God. Give God the glory. Couldn't have happened without God. God's number one. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. You may be seated. Praise God. Put your hands together for the Lord. Well, yes, I know you are, but not so fast. <laughs> we have to fulfill all righteousness. Amen? There is a certificate just so that you guys understand. Certificate waiting for me in my office to sign and so on. So I must do this according to the laws of Arizona so that I can sign that certificate. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So don't be surprised. That's what it's all about. So I want you to uh, just raise your hands where you are and just thank God for all the testimonies that you have heard today. So beautifully. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. Oh, Lord, we are grateful, Lord, for all you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful, oh, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. Oh, Lord, we are grateful, Lord, for all you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful, oh, Lord. Hallelujah, Paul and Victoria come and stand in front of us. Daddy and mommy stand behind them. You are witnesses to this thing. And the rest of you, you are also witnesses. It's not going to be a long ceremony. But one time Jesus said, well, let's fulfill all righteousness. Amen. When John Baptist said, I cannot baptize you. So we are fulfilling all righteousness. Somebody say righteousness. That's right. Well, there are certain laws also in the state of Arizona. And uh, we are fulfilling those laws. You know, so, let me ask you this. You may have done this before, but I'm going to ask you. Do you love this woman? Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. What did he say? Do you love this guy? Yes, sir. Say love. Yes, sir. <laughs> Put your hands together. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. See, so you are here. Daddy and mommy are there. So let me ask you. You know this lady? Yes. Who is she? My son's wife. Hallelujah. You know her? Yes, I know her. <laughs> Who is she? She's my daughter-in-law. Yeah. Praise God. And you are content to live with this man. 
Yes, sir. Praise God. And to have this. Yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, all right. So, a very simple one. You know, so don't worry about it. Well, we are doing this so we feel all righteousness. Now, by the powers invested to us by the kingdom of heaven. Amen. <laughs> First of all, the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Have I been your pastor? Yes. For how many years? You don't know. All right. <laughs> but I am your pastor. Praise the Lord. So, by that power, and according to the laws of the state of Arizona, where you have now presented this woman, and we are witnesses of the same, and we will be signing the certificate. So I'm going to do this. Hallelujah. You know, God said in his word, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. So God has already joined them together. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So God has joined you together. And in the name of the Lord Jesus, this part of it, I want you to stand up. The church, stretch your hands. And we are going to pray for them. I want both of you to kneel down. Yes. We pronounce the blessing of God upon you as man and wife in Jesus' name. Because you have fulfilled all the traditional laws, you have gone and received this woman from her parents. So haven't therefore satisfied all the traditional laws according to the estate and custom of your place in Nigeria. You have fulfilled that. And you are now come here and in accordance to the state laws here at the state of Arizona, we now say that God who has joined you together, let no man put you asunder. Amen. Amen. By the powers invested in us, in me, from the kingdom of heaven and the state of Arizona, you will be issued a marriage license and we will sign that certificate today. You have been issued the license and we will be signing the certificate today and you are husband and wife in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, you stretch your hands. We are going to bless them in the name of the Lord. So I want you, if there is a blessing in your mouth, <laughs> send it this way. Amen. Are there any prayer warriors in the house? Are there any ones that know how to bless? Stretch your hands this way and bless them in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we bless Paul and his new wife, Victoria. You are blessed in the name of the Lord. Be fruitful and multiply and subdue your space in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we ask that his mercy and his goodness will follow you all the days of your life. Paul, I charge you in the name of the Lord that you will erect that spiritual altar in your home. That you will be the priest and the prophet in your home in Jesus' name. I charge you that you will love this woman as Christ loved the church. And I charge you, Victoria, that you also love this man in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Bible says, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Lord. Love and honor your wife. That's the secret for a long marriage. Respect your husband. Support him in every way. That's the secret. Be kind to one another in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord make you fruitful. The Lord bless you. The Bible says, Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. His wife shall be a fruitful vine. That's right. And your children round about your tables. And your children will grow up and they will speak with the enemies in the gate. Amen. I pray the blessing of God upon you. Listen, Paul. The Bible says, When a man finds a wife, he has found a good thing. 
you know that she's a good thing. Amen. <laughs> but there is something that comes behind that. There is a present continuous tense of finding favor. Now I declare favor upon you in the name of Jesus. Ridiculous favor. Uncommon favor. Wherever you go, favor. Favor in the city, favor in the field. Yes. Favor even on the legal matters that you have to do here, immigration and stuff like that to get us settled in. Favor on all that in the name of Jesus. Favor in your life together. Remember, God is going to bless the both of you together. You are now together in this thing. You are no longer apart. You are no longer separate lives. So God will bless you together. I command favor upon you also, Victoria, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Favor and wisdom and understanding, knowledge and prudence upon you both in Jesus' name. That you conduct your affairs with discretion in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Lord who has brought you into this land, Victoria, this land will be good for you. Oh, Amen. This land will be a blessing to you. Because you are a blessing to Paul. And both of you will be blessed together in the name of the Lord. You will fulfill the purpose of God. The purpose by which God has brought you together. It shall not be truncated. It shall be fulfilled. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you both always. And by all means give you peace. The Lord prosper your thoughts and prosper his will in your life. The Lord direct your paths. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Lord is going to make your feet like hinds feet. He will cause you to ride upon your high places. You will be above only and you will never be beneath. You will be lenders, you will not be borrowers. Yes, you will be in front and you will not be behind. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray above all that the Lord will instill the fear of God in your heart. That all your days you will fear the Lord your God. You will serve only Him. And only Him you will worship. And you will follow him and follow hard after the Lord. And you choose him as your chief joy. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And you will fulfill each other's joy. In Jesus name. God bless you. And all the people of God say. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may stand up. Let me present to you. Well they did their thing in Nigeria. But this. Is Arizona. <laughs> so let me present to you right here. Turn around, turn around, let them see you. Let me present to you right here for the first time in the state of Arizona, Mr. and Mrs. Paul Etukudo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I got him good on that one. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Sister, Sister Dora, the psalmist. She has a song she would like to sing for you. And after this, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to our banquet hall. And we're going to have a great time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't mind my voice. It is not melodious, but I just want them to hear the words. Hallelujah. Amen. Go stars. In the garden of Eden, God made man and put man. He said to man, it is better to have a helper. God caused man to sleep. He made him sleep, had did sleep. He took a ring from his side and made a woman. Victoria is a woman today. Brother, poor sister Vicky, God has brought you together. Whatever you do, do it in love. Give no room to the devil any 
God bless you for time. I'll stop there. Amen. All right. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Yes, we are now ready to proceed to the reception hall. Here is what we are going to do. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to dismiss this portion of the service by us rising up and sharing the grace together, but we're not finished. So let's just rise up. We're going to share the benediction, the grace together. Now, when, after we do that, praise team, come on back up. We're going to sing them out. And when they go out, the family will stay in the lobby and the guests can proceed to the banquet hall. To get to the banquet hall, just go to the lobby, make a left, make another left, and you straight to the banquet hall. You know, and then when we are seated, we will introduce them and they come into the banquet hall. So, Preston, come on, come on, let's have a good rally. They will, we will rally out, we will rejoice, we will praise the Lord. Hold on, hold on one second, we're going to say the grace first. So, I hope you guys got it. Now, for all our guests, we do have some bathrooms in the back. You know, go out this way, go this way. There's also bathrooms in the banquet hall. You want to use the bathroom before you go there, you have to go make a right this way. If you want to go straight to the banquet hall, there's bathrooms there as well. So just go, you know, can go to the banquet hall. So we're going to see you there in just a little bit, and we're going to have a great time. Now let's raise our hands and just share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Now surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, praise team. Take it away. And let's rally out of this place. We'll see you in the banquet hall. Just like you, you are a great God. Help me sing, oh, you are God. You are not just people. You are not just like you. You are a great God. You are God, oh. You are God. You are not just people. Shall I say unto the Lord?
Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up.